here we have not one but two functions. Okay, and I can already see we're going to be using our go to function. So, in our last challenge, we wrote out the collect, but we had to write turn to and step distance to. In this case, we're going to be using the go to function to help us with this. And the place where I sometimes lose track of what I'm doing is remembering the places where I need to use the variable <coughs> for here, like collect E. So that means whatever the items we're collecting, the variable we're putting to hold their place for right now is E. So whenever, in this case, it would be match. So basically, anytime I would want to say match, previously, that's where an E goes. If I want to specify another object on our board, then I would use that object name. <coughs> so we know, hopefully by now, that we are, we're not at this point in our coding. Almost never will we use something like that. So we're going to go to E, which includes turn to and step distance to. We're going to grab it. Well, now we just need to go to the pile. So we'll get our go to in there. And then we'll drop it. And then our for loop should take care of it. Hopefully you're starting to see how functions help make coding easier. Now, to create a, two functions for one task might seem like, well, is it that big of a deal? But in reality, programmers write lots and lots and lots and lots of code. So like having go to as a function works for absolutely anything. 